the ultimate team stars. Friday's tightness, tightness finish excellent. I for detail seems to transcend like to sashay across the board finish. Whether it be fun racing or handling for iron, iron itself, mounting by the floor at Fish Factory, all striding in Berlin at GFB. Friday style is always instantly recognizable, always superbly accessorized, and always sparkly. A long time Sydney King Center member and held by a permanent resident, Harley loves to sparkle up other cities with all King Osmin first, always on the do list. My girls will always see Friday in her shining glory, marching with and supporting French Day. Thank you very much, Friday.
we get to our contestants, I would like to take a moment. Can we please thank our amazing volunteers on the door and the door? Yeah. Thank you very much. And I would also like to thank the amazing Boot Black John and Sovereign from Order of the City Boot Black for being a part of us tonight. Everyone, this is Boot Black John 20th Hive, so please give him a really big round of applause. Please go and see the Boot Blacks, please tip the generosity, and please give them, again, one more amazing round of applause. Thank you. I think so. Alright. So Alright, well, let me let me bring up the first contestants to stage. Everyone, please welcome to stage contestant number one, Shane. Thank you very much. Uh, sensational. Let's continue that cheer on as we welcome to the stage contestants. Now, contestant number two, we have Lexus Louis. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, one more time. Give that uh, wonderful round of applause going for contestant number three, Zay. As we welcome to the stage contestant number four, Brad. Right. And last but definitely not least, let's welcome our final contestant of the evening, Wolf Trider. I can't see anything as well, I just need to clarify that because I'm 
Um, but I'm really looking forward to the next see you guys. If you go um, thanks. Questions from that track. Right. Same first question. What was your first piece of gear and why was it important to you? Um, oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, my first piece of gear was actually a Nepri harness that I got when I was 18 as a struggling student living at home with my parents in Western Sydney. Uh, and I had to try it on in secret and I didn't get the opportunity to wear it for years because I lived in a drawer until uh, after 2020 lockdowns when I started doing two shows. So it was awesome to find it as a pull it out of the closet and be very sad for myself. And your second question is, tell us about your most sexy date during COVID. <laughs> so, for a bit of context, uh, to begin with the 2020 lockdowns, I ended a four year relationship uh, and I have been single ever since. So, I don't have one. <laughs> Sorry. Not sexy enough. <laughs> There's still time. Um, I'm taking applications for the future. We are all your date. Awesome. Thank you very much, ladies. It's Louis. Alright, now I would like to welcome to the stage contestant number three, Zane! So, Zane, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Alright, hello everyone. My name is Zane. Um, like Anne, Anne, not Zane, like Ping. Although, basically, graffiti in the dance toy, that's something I will be doing later on. <laughs> So we're here today for Pride in the Hive. Oh, what about now? Okay. So I'm 30. Uh, I've been part of the community for a while. Um, I've had the pleasure to meet most of you through the community, uh, through the events. And yeah, um, looking forward to it. Best of luck to my contestants. We will finish. So I was 13, um, it was my older sister's birthday at home, she had a friend come over who was wearing leather pants, really tight leather pants with zero to little imagination. <laughs> um, and I spent the entire night watching the birds to speak to him, I finally did, and he said that it was really hot and sexy, which is well, one of that was also kind of my sexual awakening. Anyway. <laughs> Last for a couple of years, I got my brother's hand-me-down jacket, which was the first article that I had. Um, that was amazing, very nice. The feel of it, the smell of it, the way I looked in it, felt really empowering. And yeah, at that point, I knew that 25th of September, 2022, I'm going to be I would say it was my worst, uh, but yeah, my um, rubber singlet got caught in the sunset. And it was on the weekend events, and I didn't have anything else, so I had to, you know, really change the journey to shirts. And that was kind of sad about that. Yeah. It was magical. Welcome to the stage for four, Brad. Anyone ever 
everyone, just before we continue. We're good? We're fantastic. Hi, <laughs> Brad, and congratulations on coming out. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, to the family. Um, so my question to you is the same as everyone else is, what's your first piece of like clothing and what does it mean to you? Uh, would have been the uh, tank top that I got from uh, Reactor Runaway <laughs> quite a while ago. Um, yeah, just I guess it was the first look into the whole world of latex, really. And it's quite special. Let's give a big, massive cheer to your private high contestants. 